13 WMAC Weather, sponsored by Bucky Holland Heating and Air. The promise of sunshine this week at some point, huh, Ben? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There it is. Yes. 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 <laughs> Trying for it right now. Well, you are see correct. if we can see well, a few minutes of it. But not tomorrow. We should have it all back in play and everything. Nice. So, yeah, better days ahead. And then maybe another weekend rain chance. Ah, oh, good. There's a look uh, again to the west. You can see the sun trying to peek through, not doing much for the numbers. 47 is the current number, which again is still warmer than what we saw yesterday. I mean, yesterday, what a raw day. We'll say mid 30s to start today, tomorrow with the clouds trying to clear on out. So that's a wild looking map right there to see 66 and Rome, Georgia. And here we are at 47. So right in the cool zone of this system here. And you can see plenty of 40s on the board, but some 50s as you go farther toward the north. All right, so let's get into the radar shot. There's not a whole lot going on with it, and uh, this is kind of the last little bit before this all leaves as we head on through tonight. So this show is anywhere in our southeastern quadrant kind of, but also a little bit in Washington County, Baldwin, Wilkinson, places like that, maybe a few little sprinkles. Uh, but this is kind of the last show of this whole thing because Future View shows that it will continue to ride away later on tonight and take the clouds with it. So tomorrow, sunshine, blue sky, still a little bit breezy, I think, especially the farther east you live. Uh, so it could be a little bit gusty out there. There's a look at Wednesday looking great. This will take us into Thursday where we'll call it partly cloudy. How about that? There's a look at the long range stuff. Thursday dry, Friday still dry. Then we get into the weekend kind of iffy here. So before you just go, oh man, and just cancel all plans this weekend. Let's watch it as we go through uh, this week and figure it out because the timing and placement of this may change, but it tries to show some rain at least nearby Saturday afternoon into Saturday night and then maybe lingering some. You can see a difference in the timing and placement, the GFS in green, Euro and blue. Uh, so there's no agreement as far as where it is, uh, but at least the potential is there for both days this weekend and maybe even a little bit on into Monday. So we'll kind of fine tune that as we go through this week. As far as the numbers are concerned in the short term, 40s now will turn into 30s in the morning. We'll say mid 30s. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, going to shoot for 60 and see how many places can hit that number. This will take us into Wednesday morning where we're looking at somewhere probably, you know, low 30s again. So still cold at night, but trying to warm up a little bit each day, but maybe only upper 50s by Wednesday. We'll see. Here's a look at the wind I was talking about. And notice how we don't totally give up on it here in our eastern county. Still maybe a 20 plus mile an hour wind gust over the next day or so. Eventually, though, that will subside. So there is the old seven day and it is uh, well, it looks a lot better than it has for the past couple of days. That's for sure. Sunshine, maybe a few clouds later in the week and then penciled in for rain potential Saturday, Sunday into Monday. And we'll get the timing down a little better as we get closer on in. Connor, what's up?